Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Bellingham City Council Committee meetings of July 27th. Our first committee this afternoon is Public Works and Public Safety, and Terry Borneman is the chair. Thank you, Gene. Uh, joining me on the committee is Michael Lilliquist and Roxanne Murphy. We have one item on our uh, before our committee today. It's a bid award for Carl Kozier Safe Routes to School, project number EZ0477. Thank you. Good afternoon. Ted Carlson, Public Works Department. Uh, this project is part of a Safe Routes to School project. Uh, the city works closely with the Bellingham School District to identify uh, areas near elementary schools that could use pedestrian improvements to increase the number of children that can safely walk to school. Uh, I put a project map on the overhead for you to show that there's really two different project locations. Uh, all of this is to serve Carl Crozier uh, more effectively and increase the number of students that can walk to school. Uh, the project includes sidewalk on the north side of Gladstone. Uh, as depicted on the map, as well as intersection improvements at Lincoln and Potter that include crosswalk, ADA, uh, lighting, uh, as well as school beacons. Uh, we received four bids, and the lowest responsive and responsible bidder was Bianchi Construction. Uh, staff does recommend award. Steve Day is the project engineer on this, on this particular project and can certainly answer any questions you have for him today. Michael. A few small questions. Um, the bid came in over the engineer's bid, but did it come in under budget? It did. Um, this particular project is funded largely by a Safe Routes to School grant, $237,000 of the total project is paid for through Safe Routes to School. And the balance was identified as transportation benefit district money. Yeah, that was my other question. Yeah. So the TV, the, the bite from the TBD will be no bigger than we anticipated already in the budget. Yeah, and this is part of uh, several years ago, uh, the TBD board approved allocating uh, a percentage of the non-motorized one third of the TBD money towards uh, grant matching. So this is a successful application of that. Um, and so it is within budget. And Steve can speak a little bit more to the project cost, but it's not um, common at this point. We're seeing our bids rise a little bit, uh, especially later in the construction season. I think uh, it's just a matter of, of all the work that's out there and hopefully a recovering economy to some degree. Good. Anything else? Yes, Gene. Well, let her oh. go first. If she's in. Oh, I was yeah. just going to move that we award the bid to Bianchi Construction for the Carl Kozier Safe Routes to School. Good. Gene? Okay, uh, Ted, I asked uh, Bianchi Construction, that looks new to me. Are, have we done business with them before? Yeah, it's, uh, that's a good question. They have not completed a public work project for us in the past. They have uh, done some training for our operations staff. Uh, so they're a viable construction firm. They haven't worked for us. I believe they're out of Mount Vernon. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and we are, we do require, you know, all of the information be submitted. You can see in the packet. Uh, this is something we haven't talked about recently, but now in all of our bids, we're including a um, mandatory bidder responsibility checklist, and that's something you're seeing now yep. in the packet. Uh, and we go through and look to make sure that they're not on any any particular list or any reason why we shouldn't use them. Okay, thanks. Okay, uh, Dan. Um, <clears throat> Ted, I was curious as to how these project sites were prioritized and identified um, in terms of locations of families and so forth. Is there some type of inventory or analysis that that's conducted? Yeah, the, uh, our transportation coordinator, Kim Brown, works closely with the, uh, the school district to kind of identify <coughs> where how, the modes that children get to school, how they get to school, where they come from. And there's a, just off the, the map here to the right, Toledo Court leads into a, uh, a development, uh, I think it's Magnolia Hills, if I'm not mistaken. I may be incorrect on that. But there's a, a large uh, population that feeds into the school district or to the school site from that location. Gladstone uh, Street had a, a just a asphalt shoulder on one side, and uh, as part of this project, we're formalizing that up to make it uh, a safer actual sidewalk, adding some illumination. It runs through the Salmon Creek open space or Salmon Creek uh, Salmon Woods open space, so it's a relatively dark tree canopy area. So the ad addition of illumination was included in the project to help that is uh, be a safe safer route and then the intersection at Lincoln and Potter gets quite a bit of traffic uh, there's not maybe as, as much of a, uh, a school walking area there but it is a, a heavily used 
four-way, uh, four-leg intersection with only stop control on the Potter Street side. So what we're doing is we're adding uh, marked crosswalks and then incorporating our school flashing beacons in there to really get drivers to note that uh, they're in a school zone uh, as opposed to just the signage that's up now. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, we have a motion before us. All those in favor, answer aye. 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 Opposed? Yes, Michael. I have one more question about the Safe Routes to School program at the state level. So the state did pass a transportation package, and I believe there is some transit and, and bike ped in there. But there's also a poison pill having to do with a carbon clean fuel standard, I believe. Is any of that, what is the status, do you know, for the Safe Routes to School funding in the future? And is that part of what's threatened by the poison pill, or is that safe? I'll likely, I, I think what I'd like to do is defer to, to Brian and Tom McBride, who will be giving you a presentation later on the, on the legislative session. I will say that this particular Safe Routes to School is federal money, and I believe the mayor gave an update. Um, maybe at the last meeting, Congressman Larson was out talking to folks in, the, in uh, Whatcom County about transportation issues and, and possibility for federal funding. And he was very much promoting safe routes to school. We took him to several of, of our sites. Uh, I'll say that we were just awarded safe route to school for West Maplewood as well, uh, a big award there. And we funded quite a few projects through the federal portion. There is state money as well. Uh, because of our size, uh, being a, a larger city in the state, at least by comparison, we typically qualify for the federal funding rather than the state funding. Um, can be more problematic for small jurisdictions to manage federal funds. And these guys like Steve do it all the time, so um, we're more equipped to deal with it. But uh, to, I'm sure Tom can elaborate on the transportation package this afternoon. Okay. And the committee. Okay, thank you very much, Terry. We'll take a Thank short you. break, then we'll go on to Park.